16 straight innings of shutout baseball from the Mariners pitching staff. As the Mariners shut out the Mets last night for the second day in a row. First time the Mariners have shut out teams from the same team on back-to-back days since the playoff year. Mariners will end up playing tonight on Sunday Night Baseball. We were the last game to finish last night. Mets are in the midst of an 8,000-mile road trip that involves L.A., St. Louis, Colorado, and then Seattle before heading back to New York. These teams do have tomorrow off, so if somehow there's a... (laughs) There's never... I think there's been one weather delay in the history of T-Mobile Park. So, yeah, there's that. Francisco Lindor did not look terrible for the Mets. He had two of their hits, and then J.D. Martinez had the other uh, had another one, and then Bader had another one. Bader made a pretty good play. What was a really good play was Polanco to Rivas to Turner in the top of the first that basically just set the tone for the rest of the game. Mariners had hit seven walks, strike out 13 times, but the amount of base runners we had, it was really good. Just simply because every time we had base runners, we were pretty much getting those clutch hits, those clutch walks, moving the line along. The umpire did kind of screw us a few times. There were a few times where uh, there were some balls that were called strikes, which was unfortunate. Put in the Second inning, no, the third, yeah, the second inning where it should have been three straight walks to move the paces. But everybody looked good. Barber had a walk, Rebus had a block. Polanco was the only guy on the team who didn't get on base yesterday, but he had a great game. Hard contact, some amazing defensive plays, including that double play part of, as well as the, um, play where the ball dribbled almost to the outfield. He picked it up. Claire handed it and got it to first base to end the inning, which was just amazing. We were 4 for 13 with runners in scoring position. The Mets didn't have a runner reach second base yesterday. Um, so the Mariners were able to do some really good stuff. Gilbert, seven, and, seven, point oh, seven innings, three hits, one walk, six strikeouts. He had the all of the strikeouts. Jimmy Garcia gave up one hit, and then Munoz, 11 straight. Hitless appearances, no other stats. Lowered his ERA to 1.19. Mariners gave up four hits and walked one. Five base runners for the Mets, and none of them reached second base. And we had eight of nine starters reach base. It's one of those things where you're like, how? And then you remember that the Mets are relatively decent team, but they've had their struggles just as much as we have, as well as the fact that they don't see us that often. So they don't see the rotation that we have. They don't get to see um, any of our rotation that often because they see us three times a year. It'll be, I think, four times a year starting in... um, The scheduling changes in 26, but we will see them three times in New York next year. It was such a good game. Uh, Victor let off with a double because somebody tweeted, ah, the Linsanity run for Robles is over, leads off with a double. Randy doubles the score. Cal comes up, gets out. Turner comes in and doubles. And then Polanco, uh, I think that was actually a strikeout. Then Hanniger comes up and gets a single with his RBI. He actually scored a run yesterday, too. Demo walked twice, struck out twice. So he had 100% of his outcomes be of the three true outcomes. Cal walked and struck out 37 percent of cal raleigh's uh um plate appearances end in one of the three true outcomes uh robles stole a base demo stole a base demo stole a base late which i didn't like that we were already up four to nothing. well we were four to nothing so it was the eight, uh, seventh inning so like i don't there was it the eighth It was late. It was late in the game. We had a lead, and it didn't look like anything was going to happen. We we chased their starter after two innings, which was hilarious. They had five star, five pitchers. Um, Nea, though, he had gone two straight scoreless uh, games, 14 innings total, scoreless, before giving up three runs and four hits with five walks and striking out three. 
Like the walks really hurt the Mets yesterday. We only took two walks off the bullpen. It's fine. Facing the starter and then just getting what you can off the bullpen, that's really good because that usually means you win, especially when you have a rotation like the matter. One person who I'm really excited about being able to see tonight on Sunday Night Baseball is Randy Orozarena, uh, just because I am super excited about seeing what Sunday Night Baseball goes with Randy because he's been throwing, a, he's been throwing the balls into the crowd with the foul balls and all the balls that they want to get rid of, rid of, which is awesome. So, exciting, super good game. Um, nothing wild happened in the game other than those two great defensive plays by Polanco. So, yeah, good game.